Hey! Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Marks here and well... I uh... Actually, I don't know. Welcome to what I would like to call budget gaming where I play you know, uh, games that I that interests me and might interest you and you know the budget thing comes from you know my setup and all that stuff but anyways uh, I have a game here today for you guys a nice game very you know positively received very nice game say it has a very cool story as well and uh, I've already played uh, some parts of it already as you can see here the first break of the first uh, day and uh, yeah let's just uh, uh, go and replay that again I'm just gonna play, replay it just for you guys and I know there's already updates but what am I gonna do I don't like to update but yeah by Sukuban games and published by Weiss Breed games all right so new game thank you for playing Valhalla or VA uh, okay this game is best played getting comfortable grab some drinks some popcorn and enjoy so sit back and relax we hope you have a good time click the continue all right so I do plan on uh, I guess just reading every dialogue. Yeah. Anna. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo. Boo boo. Bitch. How's that for an entrance? It's okay. Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. Aw oh, yeah. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo clad corkies over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. Alright. Sure. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel it just got. See ya! Oh, it just cuts to black. Exclamation point. Oh, yawn. Just a dream. Hmm, there's something near the door. Chapter 1 Primera. 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 Alright. Your membership to shi Shining Finger? Will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Really? Oh, damn. Make sure to save your data using the life backup app. Yep. You can now browse the augmented eye. Alright. For Jill. So, who is that letter from? Nobody. So, this is Jill, our main protagonist. And this is the her cat. Four. Which can somehow talk cool stuff hold to unlock oh boss and me <laughs> whoa cool like I said I played this already <laughs> no just only a few parts all right so we're using our tablet here you know, augmented eye and stuff these are news these are three articles you guys can read it if you like, just pause the video.
background music is really nice. I'll have to say. Cyborg in heels. Alright, so that's the augmented eye, and then here is the music app. Tuesday, December 13th. Hmm. Evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, hey, John. Ugh, what? When will you admit you have a John face skill? When you let people call you Jules. Jules? Jules? Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's the bomb? Or where's boss? Don't know. She went on to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about... You know, stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th. Which is always stressful and... Ah. Uh, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Oh! <laughs> not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of bloating. So not only is my lunch being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet, and now I'll get evicted if I miss for that. Yeah. And there's also the beer can there on my apartment, and. Juke! Sorry, did you say something? <laughs> can you really work today? Of course I can! Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Man, that background music though. Ah, sick. If you can make the piano man, I'll skip the rest. But, 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 but. Bear with me for a second here, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar. The recipe that will show up on the top left. Here? Is that it? No, no that's not it. You can also sort drinks with flavors like sweet or tight, man. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from your cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Skill. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click on the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that will be all. Oh, but if you. The drink looks messed up. You need to press the reset button to try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is good. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm not the one who went. Hi. Got wrong. <clears throat> Let me rephrase that. Gil, I'm the one who went through the formal BPC instruction. Then there should be no problem. Sorry. Gil wants either a sugar rush or a piano. But I must have ingredients. Or the drink. I can press the reset button and try again. Oh! So I can either do Sugar Rush or a Piano Man. So let's go. Let's go Piano Man. Hmm. Or not. Nah. I don't think so. Let's go by Sugar Rush. Uh, you can do Piano Man if you want to skip it. But as a first playthrough. I don't know to do Sugar Rush first. Do a uh, power Delta and with optional power Don't worry. Don't worry. All next. Here, happy now? A little bit, but not quite. Let's do one more. I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over 5 seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or age. 
drop their eight. Check eyes and age buttons. On side to select the one you need this one. Alright, okay. Makes sense. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tap. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after this. It's not something you should mind though, just a fun fact. That, that, that. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Let's give Bill a moon blast. Blended drinks need to be left to mix for at least 5 seconds before I stop the shit. Moon blast. Mars blast. Mercury blast. Moon blast. Oh oh! Malet! Malet, malet! Wrong, that was totally wrong. Completely forgot to click this one. There we go. All under oxen, but. Here we go. Here, did I lose you for long enough? You did. Sorry. It's good work. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. The amount. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Sure. But if that recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already good. Oh, and if the recipe says it uses optional parmesan, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional parmesan doesn't count the watch make a dead drink. Parmesan is the alcoholic factor in the drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has its effect. Ah, that makes sense. If you add too much of it, it's fine, we'll get drunk faster. So please be mindful. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. It's a change of purpose. We'll work down a bit. Here we go. Hey, guys! Oh, boy. Eh? Who's this? <laughs> Who, who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was sh out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside of the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it! There are two of you! Believe in yourselves! Sigh. <laughs> you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, it's unlikely. She'd be be prone? She'd be prone about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not on her vote. Yeah, you're right. We we'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just really self. Not going to. Yeah. Alright. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. You've had some interesting clients coming. Dogs. Lots of them. <gasps> the corgis. You're joking. Bill, you've known me for how long? No? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well, so, Spanish friend for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathroom. Have fun! Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. That, that, that. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. Okay. I wonder what was the logic behind the decision. Weird. <laughs> Weird, yeah, I know. Oh, right. So this is where I choose the songs that I'll be playing at the background while I play. So I'll just cut, jump cut to you later. So, yeah. All right. These are all the songs that I've chosen, and well, you know what? Let me let me get a drink. I'm gonna get a drink first. All right. Give me a minute.
All right, I got my drink here. Let's get started, shall we? Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, let's go. Hey you, get me beer. Oh sure, right on it. Who wants a beer? Looks like quite the big guy though. Beer, let's go. Two pounds, uh, one power delta, two flanners, uh, and four pounds. All mixed, okay. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I almost gotta stop. Here you go. No, no, this is gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer wasn't enough, apparently. <laughs> well, let's look at manly beers. One of them. Hmm, one of us is to leave the face around. Spicy man, you know. Let's let's try suplex. Okay, more emphasis to come. How much is the suplex and how much is the pile driver? Oh they're the same, alright. But, no. but you better not else. Bitter, manly and Burning. Neither manly burning. Well, might as well give him the suplex, right? Oh, never mind. Reset. All right, all on all on the rocks and mixed. All right, makes sense. Here we go. Here. Hmm. It's better get the waste for your sake. This guy. Sure, no worries there. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This shell hole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although to be fair, work has taken me to worse hell holes. Like New Jersey 3 or New Jersey the third. I, I don't really know how to read that. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? Mr. You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh, right. Yeah, chief editor. Okay. Owner. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. Smiley face. Got you. Today started quite an interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice. Wow, Alice. Alice underscore rabbit then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. Right. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Right. That's true. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. What? Seriously? No, man, I don't want that. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you're right about the hacker. Just that you write about them every single day. So some of it isn't even news. Just speculations or copycats. You can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and better. I have enough pressure and problems as is. We need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to us. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt with lack of traffic. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get the sense the sense uh, people get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. <laughs> I'm guessing the word that he's trying to say is desensitized? I don't know. I think. 
When I started in this job, it only attacked the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. <laughs> clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Oh, jeez. That's not enough. They need a full sub story behind. Damn people. <laughs> That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. It's a smiley face. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those crap. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them. So they get all diva like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about. No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> See? Smiley face. The kid on the restaurant couldn't call him. Um. Uh. Shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that that kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Damn! Bit too much. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to the outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets stuff when he says that. Serves that little bitch right. I do remember some guy coming here asking free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Was it this one then? Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beer. Beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Alright, let's go. Be -be beer. Let's go. Let's go make a beer. I can't really remember the one, two, and then one, two, three, 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 three. and four karma try. Uh, all mixed. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Alright, cool. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. There you go. One beer. Yeah, this is a beer, alright. Keep it up, kid. You'll get better someday. Uh. <laughs> I'm mad. Uh, thanks. So, tell me. Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. Con yeah, constitution, alright. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much! What was that? Nobody important. Hey! I heard that! Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole, if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. Feels weird. <laughs> Feels weird being called a honey, huh? Se and second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Ah, I see. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Yeah. That's true. It's kind of true. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. Smiley face. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance, comeuppance, comeuppance I don't know, for daring to be so much more successful than them. Smiley face. Now, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. That's how, you know, actually how it really works, you know. 
Gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody actually wants to admit. Enjoy. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. Mm hmm. You want to escape their lives, but living somebody else's. Sadly. Now, sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals? Or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Smiley face, closed eyes. XD. <laughs> Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. XD. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones that constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Mm -hmm. That's also true. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude plays the nice uh, that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. Feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, Brad? Well, two can play that game of that, not that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, you're a bartender, right? What's with that creepy smile? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Oh, hey, hey, that's uh, that's. I know that reference. It's it's you know those two rats. I think I think it's it's a cartoon. I, I can't remember the name of the show. It's like br brain and something. I don't know. It's like brain or something. I don't know. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. <laughs> anyway, I just realized the bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in your career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like to call them talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories. Con confes confessionary, yeah, confessionary stories. And then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. Personal stranger of sorts. You could have your ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. <laughs> anyway, eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients surround about their lives. Dude. I'm like that as well. I, I like hearing people, you know, Rant, not rant about what they what they think about uh, about their life and shit. You know what's happening with their lives and shit. Just, just tell me. I'm gonna actually want to be a bartender someday. Huh. All right, now that's in my bucket list of uh, part-time jobs. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. XD. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too personal. Cold. It is? Actually, it is. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, it is. Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan. But that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of me, not to my family, not to my position as boss. 
To me. To me. Do you want your employers to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread. <laughs> what? Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make them. Make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, yes, yes. You know what? Third time to try. Give me a beer. Alright. Third time to try. For what? Anyway, better get him that beer. Alright, so one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. If I remember correctly, right let's go. Why not allow to run? Alright, dama, dama. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's good. Here you go, one beer. Yeah, I guess this one's good enough for now. Good to hear. Mr. Donovan, can I ask you something? Depends on what you're going to ask. Is it about how to be successful? Because I'll only spot stuff from those shitty how to get rich books. You know, like, here in my garage. No, it's not that. Well, not exactly. How did you start in this business? The Augmented Eye was a really important newspaper in Neo San Francisco almost 10 years ago. But there was a big mess involving the head editor being de defenestrated. Defenestrated? Uh, defenestrated means uh, being fired quickly or being, you know, expulsion. You know, quick expulsion. One thing led to another, and during a tough financial spot, I bought the whole thing and assumed duties as chief editor. Nice. Neo San Francisco is still the HQ, but most of the revenues come from here. Just being in Glitch City means at least 30% 30 ex 30 extra earnings. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I remember the news. It was quite a mess. What made you pick a news website as business? It sounded fun. I decided it on a whim. I might as well have ended up with a hairdressing chain called Marcelo. <laughs> Anyway, I've got to go. Are all the orders paid for? Yeah, thank you very much. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. How much did we earn? Nine hundred... Ten dollars! Not bad. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs! Crafty dogs, I tell you. I think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you look up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Clint. Welcome to Malala. What can I. Big gut punch. Fast. Ooh, alright. Hey, yeah, hey. I've been. I've been thinking about it, but like. That guy. Uh, is the kind of exactly like Kanji from Persona 4. Do you guys not notice? His pose, his eyes, the way he looks at you. <laughs> like, literally, it looks like Kanji. What the hell? Wait, what do you want? He wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch already. <laughs> gut punch, alright. Come on, player guy. Uh, I'll age the next. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. Get this guy from here. Go. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Helpful crack house. <laughs> smells like dog doing it. So, how the hell did you? Ex how the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, Mister. What the hell do you care? Payment registry settings. Sorry for the question that, Mr. Ingram McDougall. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No? Then I have no use for you. 
beyond giving me drinks. This guy is a pleasant client, don't you? May I ask why you decided to come to my bed? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she was. She says she's a regular here. Starting to doubt her taste. A regular? They asked her? No. What? That, that, that. I concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Oh! Thank you! Yeah, thank you! Thank you very much! Even though I... Uh, this is my third uh, replay already and I know that that's... Uh, uh, he'd say it no matter what uh, songs you choose, so... Still, thanks. <laughs> hey Joe, where did you put the dish though? The bills are on out. Below the sink where it's you always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Danazine, the Red Comet. Red? She red? She doesn't look red to me. Zane? That's not a bad name. Okay. The woman offended off mall riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement in a title I've never heard of before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastic to be true. Da, da, da. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed riders with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of her. Interesting. You can relax. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you can relax, you know. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry. The other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. I know, alpaca. Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. I'm an alpaca, I'm an alpaca! She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I catch you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There is a word I haven't heard today. Tell me right up. Who wants a file driver? I must feel like suplexing him though. <laughs> oh Jill. Uh pile driver, right? Let's go. Four. Uh all next, okay. Okay, there we go. That's fine, I guess. Hey lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? What? That, that, that. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Okay, in my experience is, to be honest, I've never really met anyone, you know, really, really sincere, but of course, I have a lot of friends that's pretty sincere, kind of, but of course, as well, I also know a lot of people that lie. Of course, even your, even my parents can lie, you know, from time to time. Uh, yeah, but, you know. If no one will forgive him, who will? So might as well forgive him, right? Last can buy you time. Let's can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. They say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Yep. Does that mean you're really fake or good? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. <laughs> Still, that's quite a random thought that just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something like that? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. Of course you are. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe reaper. Alright. Alright, let's 
give him the Fringe Weaver. Alright, so a Fringe Weaver by name. What is it's serious? Bubbly, classy, and strong. Okay. Adelaide, nine karma trines. Damn, a lot of karma trines. That's for you to get drunk. Yeah. All aged and mixed. Alright. Bam! There we go. Hmm, that looks cute. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Yeah, that's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty? How? Like, hungry? No, I mean, empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something. Oh, really? I never to get or do something I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, wait, let me just open my uh, soda here. <sighs> Oof, excuse me. Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. Hey, this guy knows what's up. But yeah, that's very expensive. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette. Uh, STD, so I left midway through. So there's this thing called sex tourism, alright? I have never heard of that. Might as well search that later. You know, for research purposes. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing, way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. What? Nothing seems to do it. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank there. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Hey. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is cutting. Please come again. Don't count on it. Bye. Dick. Good. <laughs> Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. All right. That's where I left, and that's well. I don't know if I should leave that, but yeah. Let's leave it at that for now, and then I'll be uploading another episode later. Uh, later. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Alright.